we will first see a demonstration of an abnormal engine start. Start engine 2. This will be done for you. As there is no ignition, the FADEC automatically shuts off the fuel, turns off the ignition, and performs a dry crank cycle. Note, the start valve is still open. The caution is activated, and the related failures are displayed on the engine warning display. Read the title of the failure. A new start is in progress, as displayed on the engine warning display. Now, both igniters are powered. The fuel starts to flow. On the engine master panel, the amber fault light comes on, indicating that the automatic start has aborted. A new message is displayed on the engine warning display. This time, the FADEC shuts the valve off once a dry crank cycle is completed. The new ECAM procedure asks the pilot flying to shut engine 2 off. We will do it for you. When the engine 2 master switch is off, the message disappears on the engine warning display. The fault light is turned off. We will assume that the procedure is complete. Now, let's see another engine failure case. You are, the pilot non-flying. Everything is normal. We are in cruise. Note that, on the engine warning display, the caution message. And on the SD, the engine 1, oil pressure needle, and digital indication, pulsing amber. This is advising you that, the oil pressure, has dropped below the normal range, and has reached the amber line. With this ECAM message, the master warning, and the audio warning have been activated. This indicates that the oil pressure, has dropped now, below the low pressure limit. The engine 1, oil pressure needle and digital value, turned red. The procedure is to shut down the faulty engine. We will assume that the procedure is completed. Now, Let's see another engine failure case. You are, the pilot non-flying. Everything is normal. As soon as, a nacelle temperature, is above the advisory threshold, this indication is displayed, at the bottom of the engine page, and the related digital indication is pulsing green. We will see, a demonstration of an engine EGT over limit, in cruise. You are the pilot non-flying. We are in flight and everything is normal. If the EGT exceeds a certain value, a red mark is displayed at the max achieved value and stays displayed after setting the related thrust lever below limit. The over limit mark will disappear after a new takeoff or following a maintenance action. A similar indication will be displayed in case of N1 over limit. Above the N1 max, the needle and the digital value pulse amber. If N1 enters the red arc area, the N1 pointer and the digital value pulse red. A red mark is displayed at the max achieved value and stays displayed after setting the related thrust lever below limit. The over limit mark will disappear after a new takeoff or following a maintenance action. When N2 exceeds a certain value, the digital value turns steady red and a red cross appears next to it and will stay displayed when the thrust lever is set below limit.